Welcome to this lesson where we are still looking at trigonometry. Now, in this lesson, uh, we want to see how these three concepts are combined in one question. Okay? If you have been following our videos, you will notice or you realize that uh, in the previous lessons that we have looked at, we have covered these items individually. Now, this is one of the questions from the past exam paper, uh, 2019, 2019 November, okay? So we want now to see and help you get to know how you can handle a question when these three concepts have been combined, okay? Remember from our guide on how the exams does come, we said trigonometry is one of the topics that comes in section B as a standalone question. For your own information, this one always carries five marks, the second one two marks, this one also two marks. So already we have nine marks from these three questions. So there will be other two or one question so that the, the, the total number of marks under this question can go up to 12 because each question in our section B should have 12 marks. All right. So this is trigonometry and we want to look at the how these concepts are related. Please, if you do not mind and if you want to get the maximum benefit from this presentation, you can look at this is cosine rule. This is the area of a non right angle team, triangle, and this is the shortest distance. You can also look at those presentations as we have presented them one by one. Then you can come to this one that is consolidated to put the uh, aspects together, okay? So now we want to look at uh, the steps that are supposed to be carried out in order to get to the final answers of these questions, okay? So, we can start with the first one. We are dealing with a nine, nine right angle triangle. So, when you look at this triangle, okay, from the previous uh, lessons that we have presented, the triangle that we are given here, we are given the angle, uh, we are given the angle here, this angle is given as 92, then we are given 8 kilometers and the other one here, okay? So, we did mention that when you are given two sides and one angle, when you are given two sides and one angle, and then those two sides, at their point, at the point where they meet, that is why you are given the angle. Then you must know that the rule that applies there is the cosine rule. Because you, need, you may have difficulties to know which one is applicable. Is it sine rule or cosine rule? So I'm trying to help you understand to say, how do you get to determine or decide which rule to use between sine rule and cosine rule. So I'm saying for cosine rule, you are given two sides and one angle. And then those two sides at the point that they are meeting, that is where you have the angle. Then you must know that you are using what? Cosine rule. So this is it, what we are going to apply in this case. Therefore now, after you have known that you need to use cosine rule, you must be able to know the formula. But formulas, I think from 2016, the formulas are always given on the cover of your exam. You can check them out. When you just open the question paper on the cover, the formulas are given. Okay? So, we need now to use sine rule here. Okay? We need to use sine rule. So, let's see the process that is supposed to be carried out. We need to use sine rule here. Let's see the process that is supposed to be carried out. So, you know that this sine here, K, M, when we want to use letters, it is represented by the small letter what? M. Small letter M squared is equals to this side here, this side, okay, which is opposite to the angle at K is represented by the letter, small letter K plus also this side here that is opposite to the angle at M is equal because it is represented by the letter m squared minus 2kn cos m. Okay? This is what the cosine rule states. 
and we are using the letters that are given here. You discover that what is going to be given um, in the exam or on the formula, they will use the letters A, B, C because those are the common letters. But here we cannot use A, B, C, D. We need to conceptualize the question because in the concept or in the question, with the letters that we have, it's K, and so those are the ones that we're supposed to use. Alright? So when we're using the small letters, this side K, A, K, N, using these letters that we're given, it's represented by the letter uh, M, small, small letter M. So we can go on and say, um, our M here, small letter M is equals to the square root, okay? When we take out this, because to get rid of this square, you need to square both sides. When you square this side, you get rid of these two. So it is as good as we say you square the other side. So what we have? K squared plus N squared minus 2KN cos, cos M, cos M. All right? So the next step is going to be So what is our K? I told you that you come to the triangle K is this opposite side to this angle here So our K is 10 So we are going to put 10 squared plus What is our N? Our N is this side that is opposite the angle at N So it is 8 squared minus 2 multiplied by what is k? 10 multiplied by 8 multiplied by cos the angle at m. What is this angle m? Here it is 92. So we need to get 92 and put it here. Alright, so after we have done this. The rest of the work has to be done by the calculator. The rest of the work has to be done by the calculator. Okay? Now, depending on the type of the calculator that you are using, sometimes, depending on the type of the calculator that you are using, it's very important that you enclose everything that you are working out here in brackets. Okay? So that the root can apply on everything here. Some calculators, as you uh, enter these numbers here, it will be extending the root. But some of the calculators, the root will just end up applying on the first number that you are going to insert. So that is why I'm advising that you put the brackets. Then that will mean everything in the brackets, the root does apply. Are we together? So we can do that. Um, we can apply our calculator. Uh, we can use our calculators to do this, okay? So we do our root, um, open brackets, 10 squared, 10 squared plus 8 squared minus uh, 2 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 8. Uh, multiplied by cos cos 92 or oh, this is 92 here take note this is 92 cos 92 cos 92 close brackets equals to, okay so what I'm getting here I'm getting M is equals to 13.02 Two, four, three, nine, zero, eight. Okay? Now remember the units that we are dealing with is kilometers, so this is supposed to be, we can put kilometers here. But usually in an exam, if you read your question paper on the instruction here, there is an instruction in the last part. If the degree of accuracy is not specified, what are you supposed to do? You write all your answers correctly, what? Three significant figures, correct to three significant figures. So, even this one, we need to do that. So, we know that this K, this M is the same as what? KM. It's the same as what? KM, which is equal to, you round off this one, correct to three significant figures.
we have thirteen point zero. Okay, we get rid of this part. K M. This is our answer for the first one. This is our answer for the first one. Alright? So you get five marks in the exam here for doing this work. You get five marks up to this point. Alright? Okay. So um, you saw what we got. Kn is equal to 13. Point zero, which is as good as 18. So our next question now is um, the area of the triangle. Okay, just like I did in case that we made a presentation also specifically that talks about area. So you, please, it's a, it's a seven minute lesson. So you, if you can, uh, seven minutes lesson, you can watch it so that you get also the maximum benefit from this. So now, how do we find the area of this triangle? I'm sure you know that we are coming from uh, area is equal to 1. We use this one when we are talking about um, a right angle triangle. What about for, angle, for triangles that do not have the, the, the 90 degrees as one of the interior angles? So this is what we want to look at. The formula that we want to use here, which is also given in the question paper. Alright, so we are going to say the area is equal to 1 over 2, okay, the angle is M, so you do not use this, you use the other two sides, you use the other two sides, which is going to be K, A, K N, then sine N, this is the formula, okay. But in the question paper, you discover that what is used there are the common letters, which is A, B, C. Okay. Now, here we are applying the letters that are in the question. Alright. So, this letter is the letter that has the angle. Then the other two, they have the sides. Alright. So, if you do, don't you know this is the same as 0 0.5. So, we can say 0 0.5. We can say 0 0.5 here, okay? We can say 0 0.5 multiplied by um, k. What is our k? Our k is 10 multiplied by what is our n? Our n is 8 multiplied by sine the angle which is 92 degrees. Then we uh, do that on the formula. What do we get? Alright, what are we getting there? What are we getting? Let's uh okay. So we are going to get um our area is equals to thirty-nine point nine seven five six three three zero eight. Okay, now remember. What we talked about running off to three significant figures. Three significant figures. So this is going to be what? We need one, two, three. So we need to get rid of the rest. Now this number is greater than five. So we need to add now a one to the preceding digit. Now we know we are not going to write ten here. So that will end up spilling over to this one. And again here this becomes ten. So then you can't write a ten, so we we'll end up having a 4 on the other side. So this is going to be what? 40.0. Right? Okay. Cent, that is in kilometers, kilometers squared. Remember that we are dealing with what? Area. We are dealing with the area. The unit for area is square there. Okay. This is basically what we are supposed to know about. Um, the area, it's about this formula. We are just applying things that are given in the question paper. So that is why this question is one of the questions that you must correctly handle. Okay, so we go to the last question. The shortest distance from M to K N. Supposed to be this part here, to K N. Okay. 
from M, which is this point here. From M to what? So, the shortest distance, okay? The shortest distance. So this means that from this point, okay? This means that from this point, you need to go directly at the shortest distance, straight. From here, we go up, okay? So this here, we have what? A 90 degrees, that is what is going to be formed. So it is like now, a right angled triangle is born. Okay, so we need to find the shortest distance, the shortest distance, this point. In other words, it's like we are talking about height of this triangle. We are talking about height of this triangle. Now, if you remember, or if you can recall where we are coming from in the previous grades, finding the area of a, a right angled triangle is the easiest thing because the formula that we always use is it? Um, Okay, here, this is the formula that we use. Area, we use this part here, in this case. Now, you are going to notice that when we come to this part, the area is already given. So what we have done is to rewrite the work for you so that we do not give you problems. Where we have made H the subject of the formula because H is the shortest distance. When we are talking about the shortest distance, we are referring to uh, the height here, which is the perpendicular height from this point up to that point. Alright, so we have made B the subject of the formula, and if you make G the subject of the formula, you will discover that you are going to have 2 A is equals to BH. You divide this side by B, you divide by B. You are going to end with what? H, which is the shortest distance, is equals to 2. A over B, which is the base. A is the area. Are we together? So, we are proceeding now. This, the shortest distance is the perpendicular height here. So, we are going to go on and say 2 multiplied by 40, which is the area, divided by the base. The base, what is our base from this point up to this one? So our base becomes this line here, okay? Our base becomes KN, that is our base. That is our base, where this uh, height forms a 90 degrees. Uh, that is the line that we are going to call our base, which is in 13. So we can divide that one. What are we getting? We are going to divide this one and so we are dealing with this one was okay take note of that so let us divide here what are we getting we have two multiply 40 divided by 13 we are getting H, which is the shortest distance, is equal to 6.1538846, okay, 154, alright, so, then in we need to make sure that from this point now, it's a question of us rounding off to round off to. Okay, so uh, we can write our final answer here. Okay. This, uh, we can now say the shortest, shortest distance. The shortest distance from M to KN is 6.15 kilometers. 6.15 kilometers.
All right. So basically, this is what you are supposed to do. This is what you are supposed to do. And this question has been drawn from a past exam paper. In the first one here, you get five marks. This one, you get two marks. This one also gives you two marks. Then there are two more questions that will give you three marks so that the total, the total number of marks under this question you have 12. Okay? So basically, this is what you are supposed to know here. But here, we are trying by all means to make this, these presentations uh, classrooms. Okay? We are trying by all means to make these presentations a classroom. So I'm going to give you a... Uh, I mean an exercise I'm going to give you an exercise so that you don't have a problem so let me I'll give you an exercise okay so this is what is supposed to be done now I feel that maybe before I give you an exercise like I did indicate that our interest here is to examine all the options that an examiner would think of when giving you these questions. So I thought that let us see, let me write this same question. Let me write this same question and show you another way in which the question can be asked. And then you are going to wonder to say, is this signing, I mean cosine rule? So that is what I want to do. Let me show you that thing. Okay, um, okay, so um, here we had an angle where KMN is in. So I want to get rid of this angle here. I want to get rid of this angle. Okay, I want to get rid of this angle. And then I say, K, sorry, and KN is equal to 13 kilometers. Then my question here is going to be calculate what this angle. And I want to see, and I want to show to you the process that is supposed to, it's actually the same formula, but how do you rewrite it in order to get this? Then the rest of the questions are the same. So, the question here, instead of KM, now here will be saying, calculate angle. What is this angle? K M N. Or, it can also be just shown, calculate something. What is this? This is it. Or, K M N. This is also an angle. When they say calculate this, this is the symbol like for an angle, the same as this. Where you have this. Okay? So, in this question, what we are going to show to you is just, um, it's just um, how to find this angle. As for these ones, it is the same. The same process and the same answers that I got. So, the process that will be carried out here uh, is... Um, just to show you how you can use that same formula to find the angle okay so i'm going to show i'm going to invite my friend mr piri kaban to handle the other just to show to you how you can find the angle so you can come all right friends uh this year we can get the, the same angle using uh, another approach Okay, so this is Roman numeral one. Of course, we are not going to two and three, as he has already explained. So we want to find the uh, angle K M A, which is this one, all right? So like he said, when you are dealing with the, the cosine rule or sine rule, this angle, this side is M, and this side is K. And this side is what? A. Alright? So if I want to find the M, alright? Uh, in one of the videos we explained how we are supposed to find an angle. We say we are going to say cos M. Alright? Is equal to. So if you are dealing with the cos M, 
the sides that you are going to start, uh, start with are k and the n. So you are going to say n squared plus k squared minus the, op uh, uh, the side opposite to this angle, which is what? m. Alright, so then you say m squared. Everything should be divided by 2nk. Alright, this is the formula that you are supposed to use. If you are dealing with the n, it will be the same, but you start with the other two sides. Then the n should be at the end. Okay? Then you are going to say, okay, cos m is equal to what is our n? Our n is 8. Okay, so we we'll say 8 squared plus our k is 10. 10 squared minus what is our m? Our m is 13. So we we'll say 13. Alright, squared. Everything here should be divided by what? 2 uh, by 8 by 10. Alright? So here we need to apply, we need to weight it out using a calculator. So of course m uh, is equal to, so... Alright. So when you weight it out on the calculator here, you are going to get negative 5 divided by, when you multiply here, you get um, 160. Alright? Now, here you don't need to worry. The target is to get a reason. So how do you get a, you, you, you get a, the cost the other side. But as it comes here, it becomes an inverse. So you say M is equal to cost inverse of negative 5 divided by 160. Alright? Again, this you can find on the calculator. How do you do it? You start with the shift or second function. So say shift. Then cos, alright? Say open bracket, negative 5 divided by 160, alright? What do you get? You are going to get uh, m uh, is equal to uh, 91.79 uh, Four six six six. Okay. So now, uh, our rule is uh, you round it off to two, uh, three, six, uh, one decimal place. Of, of course, remember we are dealing with degrees. Degrees is one decimal place. Any other measurement is three significant figures. So what you are going to say, we we'll say, and the one point. So here you count one digit and cut here and consider this one. So I'm going to say this nine is one because it's above five. Below, uh, below 5, it's 0. 5 and above 1. Okay? So this one is going to be 1. 1 plus 7. You have 91.8. Alright? That is supposed to be our answer. Now, earlier on, we had in 92 here. There's no difference between these two. If you run it off here to uh, the nearest degree, you are going to get 92 here. Okay? But here we are following the standard that you are supposed to follow in 90 in the exam. The yeah, thing with the degrees is supposed to be one decimal, decimal place, which is 91.8 degrees. That is how we are going to get that one, which is the same with the that. Okay, so that's the, the answer, and that's where we end from this presentation. But um, we are going to give you an exercise. So what we'll do, we'll just uh, subject the questions via the camera. You'll be able to copy on your own and attempt them. Thank you so much.